Hey everybody, welcome back to the basement. We are playing Super Metroid and we're about to take this elevator down and see where we're gonna go. Yeah, down, down, down into the depths of Norfair, where wow. we will find Ridley, the dragon pirate, space pirate leader. Norfair, when it's too cold where you live during the winter, live here for a couple months. It's like the Florida of Metroid. It's like the Florida of Zebus. This is like lower Norfair, so got some Wow, I like the ruins. Mmm, look at those 45 degree angles mm, there. <laughs> look at those 45 degree angles. <laughs> Being Yoda? I, well, your mmm your sounded like that. Mm. Whoa. That was just a genuine enthusiastic wow. They're fast. And they I hurt they me a lot. <gasps> so, um. Oh, wow. The thing about Lower Norfair, this is where the space pirates are actually hanging out. Those guys that were jumping back and forth, those are yeah. space pirates. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. I've seen the phrase space pirates lately since reading about Super Metroid on the internet, which is what I do during the day. <laughs> Your free time? You're like, hmm, I'm Super Metroid, I wonder what this is all about. Man, I've been working hard all morning, it's time for my lunch break, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna read about Super Metroid. Dude, that's what I've been doing, like, brand new baby and stuff, we got like, weird hours of the day where we're awake and asleep and all that stuff. Yeah, t okay, so today is January, okay, as of two minutes ago. It's the 14th as we record this. So, how old is your daughter? 14th, January 14th, uh, 8th, so six. Six days, not even a week. She's as old as creation itself was when it was uh, no more creating. According to some. <laughs> not all, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally fine. Please do not debate how long a creation slash evolution took in the comments. There are, there's so many places on the internet to get mad at each other about stuff that doesn't matter, and no one's ever going to convince anyone that they're wrong on the internet, so just stop. <laughs> if you agree with what I just said, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> wow, you got this jump thing down. Look how I'm telling you, man. Platforming. It's like a game So much genie easier code. when you don't have to jump onto platforms. Oh, oh, so there is a old school... Ooh, what is that? Metal band. That's another one of those Chozo statues. That, oh, you see Superman. that? Yeah. You see yeah. all that up in there? Nice. So there, there's an old school metal band that has a line that repeats in a song that repeats over and over so much easier. Have I told you this? Uh-oh. It's another one of these. He's gotcha. What's going to happen? Boss, by, boss battle. What? Oh, it lowers the lava. Nice. Okay, what does this metal band say again? So much easier. Uh, but everyone now just sort of smiles and thinks and sings when they're at the shows so much cheesier, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> it's outstanding. Which metal band is this? Zao. Zao? Yeah, Z-A-O. They're, they're pioneers, actually, with a lot. The whole, um, okay, so a popular thing in metal music, maybe not as much now, uh, was like, like a power chord, like a one five eight, you know, like jing, 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 like low and rhythmic. Okay. And then you play two high notes that are either a half step short of an octave apart or exactly a half step oh, apart. Like, or tritone. Yeah, so I call it the the chug shimmer, so you kinda get the <laughs> that sort of feel. And they they like invented it. <laughs> They invented the jug, 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 I, Well, they were the first band to be even Chozo. remotely big that had... Oh, hello. Hopefully this will be so much cheesier than last time. Probably not. I fought him in episode one. Remember? Yes. And then we had to escape, and it was like tilting back and forth, and it said there was a countdown. Wow, you are super missling that guy, right in his uh, susceptible green belly. That's awfully suspicious when a guy is all bronze and then one part of him But look at how green. much damage he's doing to me. Now you've got a few reserve energy tanks, right? So that once you're down to zero, it's almost like a fairy. Like when Link dies and then the fairy pops out of the bottle and rejuvenates him. He's dodging me, man. Dodgeball master. I... I tell ya. He walks a little like a robot. Uh, you're doing the grappling. I know, I know, I know, I know. 
I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, it's not a good strategy, though. <laughs> what dun, the heck? Dun, dun, dun. How am I supposed to beat you if I can't hit you? Something about that, um. It's gotta song. be super missiles. That's why. That's all you can do? Oh, is he dropping super missiles when you were destroying his stuff? What is that? Like an ice ray? I should know that. You're charging it up, though. Yeah, you're out of super. But the regular missiles don't do anything, do they? Ooh, you're low on energy! You can do it! I believe in you. It's down to 160, folks. Um, the bad guy is turning colors. He's uh, shooting sound waves at you. And meanwhile, those utter, those stalactites are undulating in the background. Does anyone prefer I got pancakes him. to waffles? Oh, good job! <sighs> the other day, my kids preferred pan pancakes to waffles. I asked them if they wanted pancakes or waffles. They said pancakes. Really? Yeah, I know. I was like, waffles are like pancakes that actually can hold yummy stuff inside. Yeah. Pancakes just everything falls off the sides. All you can Look do at this. We got an item. Your... You know what that is? Screw attack. You sure do. You know what that means. So now we can actually hurt people with this stuff. Yeah, here. so jumping makes you a weapon. And uh, I think... Uh, uh, are we going to be able this... to get to a... Oh, nice. A yep. save point without... I think we will. Beast bloating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, funny story. Funny text story. Uh, Ted sent me the word... Be exploded for a very good reason. I don't. I don't actually remember why, but I remember thinking it was good reason. But it autocorrected to be spoofed. <laughs> did you notice that? I didn't. I was like, why did you just repeat the thing I said? Because you responded to me and said be exploded. Yeah. Well, when I, <laughs> I responded, like... I was like, you mean be exploded? But I thought I'd just say the word. But when I typed it and I looked down at my phone, it was like, you mean be spoofed, right? <laughs> What's be spoofed? <laughs> you may be wondering what be exploded is, but trust me, that's not as good a question as what's be spoofed. Because that actually doesn't exist. I was be spoofed. <laughs> it's what, uh, a, like, a really serious it's, word. It's what, it's what George Lucas said when they made Spaceballs. Uh, I've been be spoofed. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like, maybe, like, the doctor has to... Oh, so these guys were invincible before? Check that out. Check out this jazz. Oh, nice. They were invincible before. Dude, you could totally farm for supplies here. Oh, and you got full energy. Already, anyway, from a fill-up or a save or something. Did you save? Uh, I did not save. I'm gonna check out here. Okay, we're, we're kind of pretty much stuck there, but we do need to go. We're gonna keep going right. Yep. Down below us is where Ridley is. You see a little skull? Oh, yeah. So we don't want to go fight him until we've got I noticed to that the map to the right isn't, isn't like empty map. It's just like no map. That you're forging as you go. Yes, we are forging ahead into the depths of Lower North. Are those faces? They are. They're like little. They look. What do they look like? Like bad guys from Zelda. Oh, I was super, thinking Super Zelda, like Super Nintendo Zelda. I was thinking Super Mario Bros. Two, like <clears throat> Super Mario USA, when you take the key. So you would not be able to do this. With that screen time. But you take the key. Yeah, and the the thing wakes up and chases you. Oh yeah, the, like. The wow, Ying Yang face just guy? Kept rising. Yeah, 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 yeah. Phantom. Wow, I can't believe I remembered that. That knowledge is just in my brain. Oh, these invincible guys? Else. Not so invincible anymore oh, now, nice. are you? Space pirates. Take that. Or like space dead rits. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? You are right. More like dead pirates. Oh. There's something sad about that. <laughs> I'm a dead R. As bad as pirates are, like. You best be believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. Because <laughs> I'm a dead pirate. <laughs> he is a dead pirate. Yeah. You know that. Oh. I bet you this is the same. Has thing. somebody made a something, a, some sort of spoof called Dead Pirate Society? <laughs> I sure oh, hope Captain so. Oh, Captain by Captain. <laughs> 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 we need to make that. It's a thing. All right, we'll uh, we'll comb the internet oh, no. very not thoroughly and see if it exists already. And if it doesn't, <laughs> Dead Pirate Society <laughs> standing up on his desk. Oh, Captain R, <laughs> Captain me, Captain. I remember so little of that movie. Yeah, there's the oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> Then there's the, and then you it's know, sad. It's, it's really sad. It's yeah. a terribly sad movie. I have a okay, so I have a sad <sighs> oh, Captain, my Captain. Dead <laughs> Poets Society story. Ooh. 
So, in college... There's so much hidden stuff over here, man. There's a lot. We're gonna find it all. Okay, I'm not gonna go down. I'm gonna go side. Disclaimer, side. we're not gonna find it all. <laughs> Probably. Oh! Ooh! That was very aliens. Right? With the big mouth with the little mouth coming out? Oh, you guys. And that little mouth Indiana even looks Jones like aliens. Indiana Jones up in here. Rocks are falling down. Oh, remember the Indiana Jones movie with aliens in it? Me either. That was... I wish I didn't. Does anybody like that movie? No. I, Harrison Ford, you know who likes that movie? Steven Spielberg and George Lucas. And Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. He's pretty cool. Yeah. I like Shia. I, I like think he's too. great. Just do it. You know? Don't let your dreams <laughs> be mo dreams. motivational <laughs> thing. Yeah. Um... Was I saying something? Probably wasn't too important. There's secrets in this room? Is that top block just to your right? Oh, so this is lots a of dead, blastable. This is a one-way area for sure. This stuff, you can only uh, stand on top and it makes it disappear and it comes oh, right back. Oh, so once you come down, so you have to come from the top to access that super bomb yep. upgrade. And this is a dead end for us here. Mm, well, at least we know about it. Uh-oh, you have to get in front of it to trigger it? Lame. Apparently. I like how it's, take the it looks like it's rotating while it's holding still. Can you kill him and go through? That does look like a mouth, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it is a mouth. Well, I mean, like, looks like, come on in. Oh, yeah. Yep, ah, there we go. Called it. Down dude. the gullet. Oh, look at his hand. His gnarly little hand. Ouch. Doesn't seem. Ooh, energy tank. Yeah, there's like a body in here. This is like a monster. It's like a sauna it's in a here. It's a monster. He's a monster. He doesn't even know it. <laughs> That's the only problem with like Spur Attack and Space Jump. Like, oh, you have to be killing those light right. guys. Well, no, you have to be moving to the side of right? and Wow, I can't see a thing. I know. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to screw attack because I'll kill those bugs that give light to this cave. Then I'll get stuck in here. Oh, God, we gotta. Okay. Steven Tyler, go man. Dream yeah, on. remember when he wrote that song all about Metroid? And it was all about like those little bugs in the cave that you don't want to hit with the screw attack? I do remember that. Yeah, that was like classic Aerosmith. And I remember when his daughter was in that movie about the asteroid? Yeah. Yeah. And then he sang a song about it? Like, yeah! While well, Ben Affleck made little animal cracker migrations on her. <laughs> what? They better like having it. Okay, so what's the movie called? Armageddon? Asteroid? Armageddon. <laughs> Asteroid? <laughs> oh, that's a game. <laughs> uh, yeah. I bet Armageddon's also a game, but... Oh, it's gotta be. Yeah, so Ben Affleck and Liv Tyler are laying on, like, a picnic blanket, and he's like, I gotta go on this asteroid and save the Earth with your dad, who's Bruce Willis and hates me, but he's growing to respect me. <laughs> he and said she's that like, exact line of I gotta lay here while you take an animal cracker and walk across my tummy with it while my dad sings an Aerosmith song in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that movie. Well, now you have, because trust me, it doesn't get any better than that description. <laughs> And that's not a glowing endorsement of my description. That is a scathing <laughs> review of the movie. <laughs> it's bad. You know what's a great sci-fi movie about the planet ending that I just saw yesterday and I, I loved it? The Planet Earth? Yeah. Wait, let me guess. Okay, we're gonna guess together. Oh, next time in the basement we'll have to guess. I guess so. And wow. see it's on the other side of this mysterious yellow door. Talk about a cliffhanger. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for liking and subscribing and uh, going through the planet Zebus with us and we will see you uh, in the net and we'll see you next time right here in the basement for some more Metroidy action. Alright.